Hello students, this is Mrs. Phyllis coming on giving you a tutorial on the elementary string trios, um, Prelude Suite 1, The March. And I'm going to talk about the first, um, the second violin part first. So I will share my screen. Okay, so here is our march. Um, let's notice a couple things in the music first. This is our tempo, moderato. This tells us how fast we're going to play. Moderato is a medium speed, and the, um, the tempo marking here says a quarter note equals 116, which sounds like this. And all that means is when you, you hear that beat, that's the quarter note. The quarter note is telling us how fast you, we are going to play the quarter note, right? And um, then over here we have a slur. I want you to always pay attention to the direction given in your music, whether it is a bowing direction. So this is a slur. We're connecting those two notes in one direction. Or if it's a dynamic direction, we have our MF here, mezzo forte, which means medium loud. Or accidental, here's another direction that you need to follow. This is our accidental, this is just telling us that the sharp, the C will be played sharp. So this is your C sharp, high two, okay? It's here because it's not in the key signature. As you can see, we are in the key of G major, which has only one sharp, which is F, F sharp in the key signature. But when we see something like this in the music, that's called an accidental, and it's telling us that other notes will be, will be played sharp, in this case, the C sharp. We have a whole rest here at measure 15. So you wanna make sure you count and then during the rest you're going to prepare your bow because look here's another direction down bow okay so when you come off of the d here use the rest do your circle bow set the bow so that when you're ready to come back in you play down because that's what it tells us to do here okay so now i'm going to Play the piece a little slower than the 116. Um, oh, before I do that, I want to point out something at measure, measures 10 and 11. These are uh, intervals of thirds and, four, uh, and seconds. So we have our descending third pattern here. One, three, right? Then four, two, three, one, two, zero. Okay, practice that if you need to. Practice it slowly like this. Okay. So I took away the rhythm. I only played the notes. And that's how you should practice if something is, is uh, tr causing you to trip up. Take out the rhythm. Take out slurs, if there are any slurs, and just focus on the notes so that you can uh, train those fingers and help those muscles to remember how they are to be played, and then go back and put it into context, okay? So I'm gonna play it in context now from measure 10. Three, four. So now I'm going to start the piece from the beginning. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
it. Okay, so now I'm going to play it at the 116 referenced at the top of the page here. Okay, quarter note equals 116. As you can hear the metronome, that's how fast 116 is. Oh, one more thing in case you forgot what this means. The C means common time, which is the same as 4-4. Four, four. So this piece gets four beats per measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's how fast we can play this piece. So I will demonstrate. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Please feel free to reach out to me. I will talk to you soon.